All right, guys. I got Monthly Knife Club here. It's the Onyx for June 2022. Kind of a big box. I'm thinking maybe we got a fixed blade, which would make some people pretty happy. Um, I'm a folder kind of guy myself, but let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we've got for the month of June. All right, we've got our... Oh, it's a SOG. I haven't seen that in Monthly Knife Club so far, I don't think. I don't think I've seen... Uh, the Vision XR. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. And got our card, and oh, oh, well, there's a picture. And it is a folder. It is a folder. Okay, big box. So is this a big knife? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but so, uh, cool thing about Monthly Knife Club and the Onyx plan that I love is that they don't just give you like an MSRP and yeah, this is stuff that I say every single time, but you know, in case you're new. Um, so what they do is, here's the price of the box and what they do is they actually look on the internet. They look at a bunch of different sources and they tell you the lowest price that they found it for and the highest price that they found find it for on um, looking at different websites. So they don't just say like, you know, SOG says that the MSRP price is blah, blah, blah. They tell you this is what you're going to find it for. Now, you you may find it uh, somewhere offered by someone for less than the map price, the minimal acceptable pricing. Anybody who's selling it for that is not following the correct rules according to dealer, distributor, you know, rules and everything. So that's on them. Anyway, uh, I have not seen this particular knife by SOG. I, I'm kind of, I'm hit or miss when it comes to SOGs. Um... I think a lot of what SOG makes is overpriced, but I also know that SOG does put out some pretty good quality pieces. So let's take a look at this knife, the Vision XR. It says cut here. So let's cut there. You know, we might need to cut down here too. There. Okay, now, now can we, can we take you out of the box? Is that cool? Yes, it is. Hmm. Well, that's a whole lot of packaging for this knife, but this should be a pretty good knife based on the materials and everything that I've seen so far. Um, what's... What's down in here? Product info? Product info, okay. All right. Ah, oh, so here we go. A little protection for the G10. So, um, so Cryo CTS XHP steel, which is actually very good steel. Um, DLC coating, got some oil on there. We've got G10 handles. Looks like we've got some steel inlay liners, and they are skeletonized. If it's showing up on camera, to lighten it up a little bit. Um, nice tanto shape, if that's what you're into. Uh, this looks like. Ooh, whoa! Better than I thought. Nice. Well, that's fun. That's fidgety. All right, I can get behind this. Now, for anybody who doesn't know um, the XHP steel, what is it? Um, I'm not gonna get into all the molecular stuff. It's a high carbon, high chromium steel. It's been called a corrosion resistant D2. It's made by Carpenter. Um, they make some other good stuff. Uh, but it, the point is it, it has a lot of the, a lot of the really good edge retention properties that you would find in like D2. Um, but it also uh, counters a lot of the things that we don't like about D2 and makes it, and, and uh, it's, it's more of an alloy kind of steel. Um, not quite a tool steel, not quite stainless, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's got a higher hardness in it than, than, say, a typical stainless steel. And it, it's, it's just an all-around good, I'd say, hard-use, heavy-duty steel. Um, so we like that. We like it a lot. Um, this is a, I feel like a 
pretty solid knife. Um, it reminds me of the SOG Flash a little bit. Um, same kind of general layout, more or less. Um, weight feels good. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but I can, you know, I can deal with it. Um, and before I go on, let me show you the specs that come on the card. I love that they put all the specs on the card so I don't have to put anything in text when doing the video. Okay, so you can see when I talk about weight, almost four and a half ounces. Um, but it carries the weight really well. It's balanced well, uh, feels nice. G10 backspacer, which is pretty good. You know, they, a lot of companies just throw plastic in there. Uh, the clip is reversible, and you see that it's got that interesting little screw there um, to hold the clip on. It's deep carry clip, but it's set so far low down that you still have a lot of knife sticking out of the pocket. Some people really like that. I like a deep carry clip that puts that knife all the way in my pocket. It has nothing to do with whether or not it shows. I just don't like the knife sticking out on my pocket. I like it to be securely tucked in there. The texturing that's on this G10 is, um, it's good. Not super aggressive, not gonna like scratch up your pocket or, or anything. Um, I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna texture G10 like that, might as well make it a little bit more coarse to really get a great grip on it, but it's better than smooth G10 by far. Um, the bearings on this are really, really nice. Really, really smooth. I mean, you could fidget with this and mess with it all day long. I feel, I feel like the thumb studs are maybe just a little bit, a little bit better than the flipper. I mean, obviously it works either way. Um, I just, where my hand falls on this and where it lands and everything I just I feel like I get a little bit of a better better deployment with the thumb studs than the flipper maybe if the flipper was just a little bit bigger and I got a little bit more leverage um, but overall not bad it's comfortable you feel that clip a little bit in my hand but not much um, choil right there for your finger feels pretty good uh, your hand locks into it really nicely jimping is pretty good and for General size fits my big hand pretty well, but it's not a huge knife. Um, very EDC friendly size wise. It is partially serrated, which I'm not thrilled with. Younger me, like you know, um, young army days, uh, 20, 21 year old me would love it. How tactical looking. Serrations, scary, ooh. Um, but you know, today I just love a nice fine edge all the way down. But whatever. It is what it is. Let's um, go to the cut and money. Hmm. Trying to get that front edge there. Yeah, so it looks like both of our cutting surfaces are pretty nicely done. Very nice, very clean cuts down against the mat. Let's give it a little slice very good a little awkward because of how little we have to work with because of those serrations i'm just trying to avoid them let's go for the pull through and wow very easy actually very very easy let's try another one little bit of effort not much at all though and then Definitely different style than I'm used to having in my pocket. Probably not something that I would go out and buy myself, but having it come in the box and put it in my hand, it feels like something I might want to carry around, something I want to give a chance. Um, I love the deployment. I love the way the lock works. I forgot what um, I forgot what Sog calls this lock, but basically, if you look, it is just it is it's an axis lock in there, but instead of having a couple of studs. You have this like switch on either side it's it's essentially it's an access lock it is it functions the same way um do they give a name for it i'm sure they do somewhere um oh the xr it says right there the xr lock it's another you know access lock by a different name but it really is comfortable to be able to get your fingers on that that whole thing so pretty nice so I gotta say, I think this is another winner for the Onyx subscription. Um, 
very much a usable, carryable knife. Um, I, I think that this act absolutely will get some pocket time. Again, not thrilled about the serrations, but the knife as a whole, I think, definitely is, is a pretty good deal. Um, again, look at the value of the box, 119 plus shipping, and this thing, you could find it for as low as 154.95, but other people are selling it for as high as 171.95. You definitely get your money's worth and then some out of this month. Um, even if you don't like the knife, even if you want to use it at resale or you just want to use it um, as trade material for something else, I mean, that's what I love about the Onyx box. I say it every single time. You you always get at least your money's worth and then some in the Onyx box. And uh, great way to build up a a worthwhile, good quality collection. So pretty cool, pretty cool. There is a link to Monthly Knife Club in the video description because, because I believe in them. I think they do a good job. And there is so many different plans that they that they offer that you can look into um i like the obviously i like the onyx i'm always talking about the onyx i think it's one of their best uh, but you know they have like all different plans at different price ranges so check them out see what you think uh, but i'd like to know what you guys think of this of the vision xr your thoughts um you know the handle reminds me the shape of some of the newer benchmates that are out recently but I just, it's so fidgety. I could just, it's the kind of knife that's great because if I'm sitting around in the shop or whatever and I have a few minutes, I got nothing else to do, it could, it's fidget spinner smooth, you know? Anyway, what do you guys think? Like it? Don't like it? No opinion? I'd love to hear from you guys. So please do let me know what you think. And remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.